6 o'clock tonight, parents are speaking out about safety concerns in schools after their kids' school was put on a lockdown. Yeah, this happened at Howard High School on Thursday following an incident that took place on campus. It was all caught on video. WMER 2 News' Brittany Verner has been working on the story. She spoke with parents who were upset that they weren't notified right away about the incident. One parent says they got a call Thursday saying that Howard High School was on lockdown, but they didn't get the call until hours after the initial incident. Now one parent tells me they're concerned about their kids' safety while at school. People are bringing weapons in the school. People are, you know, uh, repeat offenders for fighting in school all the time. This is the disturbing video that has been circulating online. It shows a few school employees and a school resource officer pinning a young man to the ground while one staff member is seen pulling his hair and punching him repeatedly in the head. Oh yeah, it's a very scary situation. Michael Miliotis was outraged after hearing about the incident. This happened Thursday inside the lunchroom at Howard High. And another parent who didn't want their identity revealed said they heard a rumor it was a weapon on campus and they were frightened once they got an email saying the school was on lockdown. I automatically called the school and they said that it was on lockdown and I had asked them if, the, if a gentleman had a gun and they said that they couldn't share information with me. Howard school officials responded to what happened and sent a letter to parents, part of which read, quote, Rumors have circulated that a weapon was involved and we want to assure students, staff and family that this is not the case. The lockdown was not implemented as a result of a known or rumored weapon. However, to ease concerns of students, parents and staff who may have heard the rumor, additional security will be present at the school this afternoon for dismissal, unquote. Well, it's an issue of safety. And although an email was sent to parents informing them of the issue, one parent says it wasn't sent fast enough. This is about 12 o'clock. Uh, he took the school about two hours at 154 for them to send a email to all the parents notifying of the event that had happened. My daughter actually told me that they, they actually had to, all the kids that were in the lunchroom had to run out of the, the school um, because they, they didn't know what to do next. And now some parents are hoping the school modifies their policy on how fast they send out this type of information. And, and it took uh, for my daughter to email me in order for me to be notified when it should be the, the, school's, uh, the school's responsibility to notify not only myself, but every parent. And Miliotis agrees. That is always a very scary situation. You wonder how you're going to get your kids out of there, when they're going to be able to come out, if your kid is actually involved, if they're hurt or not. A lot of things. You also worry about everybody else in there, too. Now, violence in school has students and parents concern. That's why they are hoping the school continues to increase security to hopefully prevent these type of incidents from happening. Reporting in Howard County, Brittany Verner, WMAR 2 News.